Sarah Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your Thursday, December 13th, 2018 love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So um, I've been doing my readings a little bit different um, the last couple days. If you like this way I'm doing readings, um, drop me a comment in the box below or hit like. That way I know you guys um, like this style a reading better otherwise i'll go back to the one card zodiac with clarifier so just let me know what you guys think um you can also leave me any suggestions of what kind of readings you'd like to see in the future um i am going to start doing cross watchers um regularly as well as um uh twin flame like divine feminine feminine <laughs> um, daily readings as well. So, um, I'm going to eventually try to go those live every day for those of you in the twin flame journey. Um, so if that's something that you would be interested in, also leave me a comment below and, um, we will begin doing that. So, all right, Earth sign, let's see what you guys got going on for Thursday. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, You guys have been showing up all over the place in all my other readings. The moon in reverse is your first card out. And you have oh, the ten of swords and the fool. That just kind of all tells its story right there, doesn't it? Your person you are dealing with. is earth signs dealing with what do they need to know the five of wands the justice in reverse and the five of pentacles the outcome of thursday for our earth signs the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The, whoa, the Three of Cups in reverse. Pardon me. And the, ow! <laughs> that was my knee. And the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> Okay, sorry about that. Just me being clumsy me. Your bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords, the Six of Swords, and the Lovers. Oh my God, Earth Signs, are you finally moving in the direction you're meant to? Finding success and moving forward with a fire sign or um, let's see what else we got here. A Libra. Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, that's about all I see. Gemini is here. I feel that's you, though. That's you and your chart. All right. Well, let's see what we got here. So um, you're moving fast, moving forward, and bringing the truth in hand. Um, hallelujah. You guys are um, moving very quickly um, away from one situation that uh, no longer made you happy, that was rough, that uh, had a lot of conflict or just a lot of cold energy, and you are choosing love. Look at that. And the card underneath this was the Six of Wands. So you're finding success at moving forward. You guys have been stuck for so long, and I hope this, I hope this applies to every earth sign out there because you guys have all been stuck for so long, stuck in your own way, um, blocking your own path, stuck in your own, um, thoughts. So how, what a blessing to be able to finally move to back up what you are talking about, to back up what you're promising, to back up what you're wanting. Um, this could be a little bit out of your control, however, unless you are, uh, coupled with another earth sign right now. 
secrets are coming out. Things that were done in the past, done in the dark, are now coming to light. The light, the path is being illuminated. The past is being illuminated. And some things are coming to the surface that don't feel too good. Um, now, this is either you or your partner, but whatever was done in secret, in uh, behind closed doors, done in the dark, it's bringing a lot of betrayal um, energy. It's making you feel really her really down, um, feeling like you are betrayed, feeling uh, uh, just really like somebody really deceived you by doing whatever it was that was done. And this is all coming out. Um, of course, energy is fluid. So a couple days before, a couple days after, but this is the main energy for Thursday. But you are coming to the end of the cycle. This was meant to come out. This was meant to happen. There was no way that this secret could be um, kept any longer uh, because you weren't moving on your own. You weren't moving forward. So things had to come to light in order to move you out of this cycle. This is giving you the push, the drive, the courage you need to go out and, and take that leap of faith. Take that jump. Don't think about it. Don't overanalyze it. I know you're earth sign. Just do it. Just take that leap. Take that jump. You deserve this. You deserve a new beginning. You deserve to leave behind this kind of energy and um, and move forward. I mean, look at the different. Look at how happy he is in the face. He is just freaking happy compared to this guy that's stabbed in the back. Why would you not want this guy versus this guy? So allow yourselves to be happy, Ursine. You don't have to be bogged down with all the hub, hubba bubs from life, you know? Um, the person you're dealing with, this is uh, starting a conflict. This um, secret coming out, this is very hurtful to this person. They are learning of another person. They are learning of outside energies. Um, they are learning of competition that they didn't even know they had. Um, and it's going to cause some, some, uh, arguing, some, some fighting back and forth. Um, somebody could have told these secrets. You see the person over here just laughing. Somebody could have told these secrets knowing it was going to cause this avalanche of emotions. But, um, your partner feels like this, what happened to them was very unfair. What happened to them was, um, very unjust, very out of balance. The karmic scales um, are out of uh, balance. And they just feel like they're shocked that this happened. They're, uh, this person's action could have not been the best for the situation either. But your person is feeling very uh, left out in the cold, very like you're walking out on them, um, feeling very sad, but you know that what you have to do, you have to do. This has to be done. You have to live for yourself. Don't live for anybody else. I promise you this person that feels abandoned and out in the cold, they will heal. They will move on and they will move into something that is meant for them and is for their best and greatest good. You are to that point. You need to take that leap um, and not worry about other people. Take care of yourself, your own responsibilities, and this person will be just fine. Um, never stay with somebody out of guilt. That's not that's not any way to love a life or live a life. And they deserve somebody that loves them too. So um, so don't feel the guilt of the fool here. Um, your guys's uh, outcome cards. Yeah. Uh, your guys' outcome cards are the Six of Pentacles in reverse. No longer splitting your energy in a third party situation. Putting that down, walking away, picking one or alone, and going on by yourself or with one other person the way it's meant to be. No longer splitting your energy, no longer becoming exhausted. You were exhausted when you were doing this. When you had secrets to keep and splitting your energy between two, two other people, you were worn out, tired, exhausted. You weren't contributing to either relationship um, enough and you were neglecting yourself. 
So this is definitely a good thing for you or signs that are in this situation. The three of cups is also in reverse. So ending that third party, that's how your energy is going to come back into balance. You are no longer contributing to two people outside of yourself and the three of pentacles. So um, once again, just... Just um, confirming that the third parties are ending. This is no longer um, going to get your attention. You're no longer going to um, work so hard at trying to keep this a secret. You're no longer going to be giving into that third, uh, into three people or splitting your energy. Because remember, you're coming forward. You're telling the person that you're in a commitment with that you no longer want to be in this relationship that you're, you can't hold this back anymore that I know this is going to hurt you. I know you feel like I stabbed you in the back and that this hurts really bad, but I have to go forward for myself. I have to do what's best for me. And in turn, that'll benefit everybody. You're speaking your truth. You're picking a lover and you are moving out of this situation that you are currently um, uh, committed to. Your partner, there is going to be um, an argument. They feel like this was unfair and that, you, that you're walking out on them. But I promise you, they have love that will come in for them. They deserve to love and be loved just as much as everybody else. So by you staying there out of guilt, you are not doing them any favors. It's time to end the splitting of energy and these third parties and you earth signs are finally moving, moving in the right direction and doing so with fast paced energy. The knight of swords comes in fast, comes in quick, delivers their blow to the person that you're dealing with, with the truth. And then you're going to get in that boat and move forward, move ahead, move on to this beautiful new beginning that you deserve because you are moving into the path with the person you're meant to be with. You are moving towards your twin flame, your soulmate, um, and leaving behind this, uh, this other person that you guys haven't had. Um, you guys haven't been working together. Oops. You guys haven't been working together at this relationship for years. This relationship has not been, um, nourished or, um, nurtured in a long time. And you're being called to move towards the person that you want to spend the rest of your life with. Your bottom of the deck. Free yourself. Free yourself from this uh, relationship that no longer serves you or satisfies you. And very soon decide what it is that you want. So the universe can help you get there. So they can help you um, find the courage and the strength to speak the truth. To give you the strength to move forward into your path. And into this new beginning to um, clearly decide who it is that you are breaking um, this third party energy up. Um, it's not going to be easy, but it'll be worth it. All right, our science. I hope you have a beautiful Thursday. I send you much love, light, and healing energy as you embark on your new quest. And you will find much success. God bless.